So in these circumstances, many of our co-panelists already uh, talked about many things. So I will try to harp upon three major points, which was uh, important um, in many times, but uh, post pandemic it is becoming more prevalent. So one aspect is uh, at this moment, cybersecurity elements cannot be treated in silos. Like uh, there are ransomware kind of things. So people are thinking I'm putting some endpoint, I'm putting some perimeter firewall and I'm deploying certain devices will solve my problem. It is not because as you are already seeing, we are talking about multi-vector attacks, signature-less attacks. So cyber security has to be treated as a fabric. Suppose if we talk about ransomware, so only endpoint, only a gateway firewall will not solve my purpose. So endpoint security, gateway firewall, next generation firewall, web application firewall, sandboxing, mail security, all those things put together, it becomes a fabric. Then only we can handle uh, ransomware and this kind of threats holistically. So that is one point. Cyber security has to be treated in a harmony if the orchestration mode, not in silos. Second point will be in interesting point across the globe. Always any enterprise are trying to prevent the attack. But attack cannot be prevented. If you are trying to protect the thief from certain door, he will come from the other door. If, if you have seen uh, many breaches across the globe, starting from Equifax to Sony, many of the things you might have seen, the moment the attack has happened, still there was time. Through that time, if they would have the incident response plan, they could have prevented the breach. So generally it has been seen that this is called dual time from the attack to the breach, which is around say 200 plus kind of days. If we have a proactive incident response kind of a plan, even after the attack arises to in my landscape, I can still prevent the data breaches. So that is the second point I'm trying to harp. And the third point, most important point, which is becoming more uh, important post pandemic because pandemic situation and the lockdown and those situations uh, came to um, us in a very suddenly. So there was less of a preparation. So this situation had become a little different where home has become our new office where users are working in a hybrid mode. There are users earlier used to sit in office used to access certain application inside his data center or maybe in the cloud, passing his perimeter firewall. Now, moment he is working from office, he is connecting his server, connecting over VPN to landing to his landscape, or maybe he is directly reaching to the cloud. So he is able to reach from any source to any destination. So I am not able to create a boundary from a definite kind of a source, he will reach to a definite destination. So typically this is called as a zero trust kind of a framework where even after the user is allowed, I need to see certain privileges, some access restrictions, some identity management. So zero trust kind of a security since users can come from anywhere. He can come from the home. He can come from BYD kind of a device. He can come from office. He can come from anywhere and he can access anywhere. So this kind of situation, zero trust kind of security is also becoming very pertinent. So these are the three points I wanted to highlight. Thank <laughs> you.